Hello guys, welcome back to Darkness Rises Tips and Tricks. Today I'm gonna test the best weapon skills for Berserker, Warrior and Archer. So as you can see I have for uh, all these three uh, both uh, weapon skills. I'm gonna test them out and decide for each which one is better and from all these three which one is best from all the three. So from all six skills in total which one I think is the best. Uh, I'm gonna do also another video for uh, the remaining three characters. I don't have for all of the remaining both weapons, but I will get them hopefully. So <clears throat> before that, guys, I'm gonna collect because I collected the ranking rewards from the previous weeks from duels mainly, some from uh, Team PvP. So let's see how many we can reach, and then I'm gonna test the, the weapon skills. So right now 151,000 gems, so definitely a good way to get gems, extra gems is ranking in duels, team pvp, as you can see I'm getting from each at least 7-800 extra gems, from the berserker I should get more, see 1,250 and another 300 from the team pvp. I didn't do much team PvP in the weekend, but I'll try to continue the journey. Let's see. Also guys, let me know what you think, which uh, weapon skills you prefer for your character. Specify also the character, the class. And why also you can let me know why you think that's the best weapon between, especially for these three that I'm testing. I'm gonna do for the remaining three like the witch and the assassin and the mage okay let's see let's get to it guys so the ma the damage that i'm doing is not important definitely the i'm gonna do more with this weapon because it's maxed out so free man's eye okay let's go and test this one i'm gonna go to rank because i just want to test the skill let's find some stronger opponent that won't die that fast get okay, this one <clears throat> I'm gonna test this what the weapon skill does and give you my opinion which one is better for each of this class and between all ok now we activate it and this one as you can see does damage from distance since this uh, blades let's say the area that it covers is quite long but um, sometimes if the target is running what i notice especially for this uh, <coughs> this uh, arena if he runs like this in circle it's quite hard to catch him okay so gonna test again so this one but it's good for group from team pvp from brawl because you can also catch you can knock out enemies from bridges so it's good for that for duels it's not definitely the best so because this one see can send enemy flying so if the enemy doesn't run in circles this uh, can be very efficient especially for group pvp Okay, let's test the other one, see what it does. Let's go, and we have here the other spinning slash. Let's equip. With this one we'll do less damage definitely, but damage is not important, we're just testing what it does. Let's see, can we find a stronger opponent? Ok, I'm gonna go for this one. And we're gonna see if this one is better or the first one. Ok, let's see. Ok, so this 
actually uh, does the skill, triggers the skill like the other skills that you have so it's not something that uh, will last for long, just for a few seconds, two seconds I'm not sure I didn't see any stun, I don't think it does any stun we're gonna test it again so I didn't notice any stun, maybe it knocks out the enemy we'll test and see if that's the case the reach definitely is not as good as the first one let's see yeah the reach is not as good and doesn't stun is not AOE damage, it's focused on a certain area so mm, between this and the first one, the first one is way better because it has a longer reach uh, also it, you can knock out enemies uh, airborne and knock off the bridges and other areas where they can fall off while this one doesn't have a good reach and um, also doesn't stun doesn't knock out the enemy I'm gonna try it again ah, it knocks it knocks the airborne the enemy so it sends the enemy flying but still is not from my opinion is not as efficient is good maybe for uh, duels but is not good for uh, group team pvp maybe is not as good that's my opinion, maybe I'm mistaken, maybe if you really have a higher uh, damage for it, can really do well, but from the first view it seems like the first one, because it lasts longer, it, you can keep the enemy in the, in the air for longer period, and it has longer reach, seems to be better, let's see, so we decided that the free man this one free the mind's eye is better okay for the warrior let's see for zerker for this one i think you have an idea but let's see so first we're gonna test let's see both of them so we have here a rage of ares and the other one is draconic ascent Let's go and test first Rage of Ares and see if we can find somebody really strong. So you know this one, I usually use it, so I'm sure you know already this skill, what it does. But let's review it again. So let's trigger. See? If you are close to the enemy, when you trigger also knocks the enemy off. Another thing, it will increase your movement speed and it does uh, for like, I don't know, 5-6 seconds, continuous damage. So we're gonna do it again. So this works very well for group PvP, for team PvP and it's good for catching if you want to catch the enemy. You can use it like with combining with some stunning skills or hooks and then you trigger this and do your most powerful skills. We're gonna try that but I might... For example, let's go. I'm gonna trigger, use this and then use a powerful, see, like this finishing move. Or. So this one is very good because it does continuous damage, increases your movement speed and it has covers a good AOE area around you so if you are in a group battle you can kill quite a few of enemies, few enemies with it okay so this one is quite good, we're gonna test the other one now definitely for the second one the damage will be less since the weapon is not maxed out but still we're gonna see what it does what's the potential for that one, I used it before 
the draconic ascent. Let's see. And let's go for this one. Oh, maybe I should try to rank in the higher in the rank matches. Hmm, that will be interesting. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, so it's a normal skill, doesn't last long. It has a decent reach. We're gonna test it again. Doesn't cover a big area, so it's focused skill on the thing like uh, not a wide area, narrow area. Okay, and it sends enemy flying. You're gonna see. So it's good for knocking out enemies, it's good for duels, you're gonna see, you can mix it with other knocking skills or stunning skills, see, and then you can boom and bop, so it's quite nice, actually I know I managed to find a good combo for that one, so this skill can be good especially for 1v1, since it's uh, sending enemy flying, does different uh, decent damage, but it's not the best. Maybe for team PvP, for brawl can be good because you can knock enemies. But if I'll have to choose between this and uh, the free man, was the not 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 free? I forgot the name. Uh, the first one, I'm gonna choose the first one. I don't know the name of the first one, come on, you're using it, <laughs> okay, let's see, so better is uh, the Rage of Ares, so Rage of Ares, why, because knocks enemy, can knock also enemy, does more damage, covers more area, a bigger area, and increases also your speed, so you can catch the enemy. So you have more function for that skill, let's see now for the archer also I have both weapon skills let's see so one and the second one thunder wave is first I'm gonna test and then dead, dead eye so let's go for thunder wave, wave to see what it can do ok let's go for this one Pizza, pizza babe. And let's see the skill what it does. And then I'm gonna decide what's the best skill from all this that I use. Okay, so this is stunning skill, has a decent reach as you saw. So even if the enemy is far away, actually that's the best way to use it, on a group especially, because also covers a decent area. And it stuns the enemy, then you can start using your uh, powerful skills, knockout skills, stunning skills, so you can mix. Let's use it again to see how far it can reach. Okay, I have to wait a few more seconds. Let's counter him. Again. And now let's use it. See, it has a very, very long reach. And you can stun the enemy, then use your powerful skills, knockout skills, stunning skills to finish the enemy. Especially on a group, it's very nice to use. In team PvP and Brawl, you just find people that are fighting, in Brawl especially, that are fighting each other. Use that, stun them, then use your powerful skills. Especially if they are on the bridge, you can knock them out. Okay, let's see. Second one. Dead Eye. Let's equip. And let's do one more.
Okay, let's use a stronger opponent so he won't die as fast. Let's see. This one, I think you have an idea what it does. Definitely the ones that are using Archer, they know. Okay, so this, it's a focused skill. Does damage, knocks the enemy, has a long reach. The area that it covers, it's not uh, wide, it's narrow. It's good for, uh, I would say it's good for uh, 1v1. But not the best for team pvp group uh, pvp so we're gonna test it again let's <clears throat> we're gonna combine with some skills and you see how you can use it so see long reach it knocks the enemy so it's good if you want especially you can hunt on the bridge in brawl hunt enemy right there with that skill because it will knock them out it has knocking power it's focus skill but you can use it so if I'll have to choose between the two skills for archer I'll say first one is better because it has extra stun uh, it covers uh, a more a bigger area so it's good for uh, group pvp so even but this one that i also is good if you are good at knocking enemy it has a good knocking power but from my point of view thunder wave will be better and let's see from all these three characters between warrior skill so between this thunder wave, between my berserker, let's see, no, let's go to warrior, and then berserker. The warrior, uh, free, yeah, free the mind's eye, and my berserker, uh, Ares, the rage of Ares. I would choose, let's see, so if, if I'll be able to have any skills, any skill, I will choose Rage of Ares. Why is that? Because uh, I like the movement increase that it gives, which is very important. I like that the damage that it does, it continues around all around your uh, player so all around you it covers a good area and you can mix while this uh, skill does his own damage AOE damage you can use other skills to amplify the, that damage so it's a good burst skill so you can kill very fast the enemies if you mix with a good combo I would say this one could be a really really good powerful skill to finish the enemy even if there are more enemies because this one like I said does AOE damage all around your uh, and it's fun it's fun you saw me playing and I really like this one so if I have to choose between all those three the six skill actually in total I will still choose Rage of RS second I would choose maybe the one from the warrior three man's eye and then the archer because free, Freeman's Eye also it has some uh, decent reach and can knock enemy, keep uh, the enemy airborne, has decent damage also. While the the one for the archer is just um, has a let's say the effect is like for a few seconds. It has a good stun AOE, but still, I would say the one for the berserker and the warrior are better. Okay guys, I'm gonna do in the future add another video where I'm gonna test the remaining three uh, weapon skills and then I'm gonna pick from all the best skill from all the six characters. Stay tuned for that and don't, don't forget tomorrow we have an update 
they said they're gonna give uh, uh, like uh, free level 60 uh, S to S plus gear also some clear tickets adventure 60 clear tickets 100 adventure points and they will add new boss camp uh, and what else ah costumes besides that i think new events and we'll see what else so i'm gonna review that tomorrow stay tuned for that so till next time guys see you and bye